In the last few months, global economic activity appears to be strengthening across advanced economies and emerging market economies. Global trade is gathering momentum. Inflation is approaching targets, but the pace of disinflation has somewhat slowed down. Central banks are closely monitoring the growth trajectories, employment and labor market outlook and price trends, with the US Fed expected to have a 25 basis point cut in September 24. As far as domestic economy is concerned, second quarter of financial year 25 has begun with gaining mo growth momentum. The benign monsoon pattern and its accelerated spatial distribution of late should smoothen the inflationary expectations in the medium term. Latest numbers show that scheduled commercial bank credit growth by 14% while deposit grew by 11.3% for the third consecutive year till now. The credit growth has been higher than the deposit growth. New investment announcements, which were around 10 trillion during 2021, has improved to more than 37 trillion in the last two years, 23 and 24. Major industries where new announcements have been made include non-renewable energy, electronic, renewable, basic metal, inorganic chemical, and the real estate, particularly the residential buildings. The union budget announcements are positive for the market. The thrust to consumption revival, PM Suregar Wuft Vichli Yojana, PMAY Urban, MSME and Startup Agriculture will, will go a long way to boost the Indian economy and also enhance the, the infrastructure investment in the economy. Coming to the bank's performance, we have once again delivered excellent numbers. I am happy to share that our net profit for the quarter one of financial year 25 is at 17,035 crores and shows an increase of almost 0.90% over quarter one of financial year 24. Operating profit at 26,449 has witnessed an increase of almost 5% on a YOY basis. Bank continues to report ROI of greater than 1, which is at 1.10 for the quarter one of financial year 25. The ROE of the bank for quarter one of financial year 25 is at almost 21%. The cost to income ratio of the bank is now at 49.42% for the quarter one of financial year 25 and shows an improvement of 95 basis point over quarter one of financial year 24. Net interest income for quarter one financial year 25 has increased by 5.71% YOY on the back of improvement in yields and continuing credit offtake. Operating expenses have increased marginally by 0.65% by OY. We believe sustaining our profitability at these levels highlights the resilience of the underlying value drivers of the bank. Our deposits have grown by 8.18% by OY and term deposits have grown by 12.20% by OY. CASA deposits have grown by 2.59% by OY and we have taken several steps to strengthen our liability franchise. I am pleased to advise that the credit growth continues to be robust across all segments. Our domestic advances have grown by 15.55% and the retail agri MSME advances have crossed 21 trillion during quarter one of financial year 25. Out of the above, retail personal advances constitutes 13.7 trillion. Agri advances at 3.09 trillion and SME advances at 4.43 trillion, growing at 13.60, 17.06, and 19.87% YOY respectively. The corporate segment is also showing healthy growth at 15.92%. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe. 